I drive my friend Lucas to school, and he's been making us late because he refuses to get out of bed. So we have to take drastic measures. Do you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? Or do you find yourself dozing off during the day? You're not alone. According to the National Sleep Foundation, 87% of high school students are chronically sleep deprived and struggle throughout the day to concentrate and stay alert. I go to bed at 10 and get up at 6. That's a solid 8 hours of sleep, but I'm still tired in the morning. Getting a good night's sleep is more than just number of hours or quantity of sleep. It's also about how well you sleep. In other words, the quality of sleep you get each night really matters. Most people don't get a quality night's sleep, and that can lead to chronic sleep deprivation, and it can really affect your life. Besides feeling tired all the time, lack of sleep can make people irritable, grouchy, and increase their risk of depression and other psychological issues. It can also affect your academic performance in school. Lack of quality sleep reduces your ability to learn and remember what you're being taught. When you don't get a good quality night's sleep, it's difficult to concentrate or think clearly. Your success in school is linked directly to the quality of sleep you get each night. If you don't get a quality night's sleep, you can seriously hurt your athletic performance too. Less sleep increases the possibility of fatigue, low energy, and poor focus at the game. It also slows your body's recovery after the game. Why are so many people not getting the sleep that they need? The answer is simple. Technology. Research shows that as smartphone usage increases, so does the lack of sleep. 90% of us use electronics in bed before going to sleep, just about every night. My phone is the first thing I look at when I wake up in the morning, and the last thing I look at before I go to bed. I have to text my boyfriend before I go to sleep. It's the only chance I have to play the game all day. Your circadian rhythm is your body's system that regulates your feelings of being sleepy or awake. When it gets dark outside, your hypothalamus signals your body to start creating sleep hormones, like melatonin, and to drop your body's temperature to get ready for sleep. I scroll through my social media because it helps me relax. Checking your social media may be relaxing, but it's not good for falling asleep. The blue light generated by smartphones, tablets, and other electronic devices confuses your body's natural rhythms. As a result, your body delays or suppresses the production of melatonin, making it more difficult to fall asleep. Watching a video, movie, or a favorite TV series online may seem like a great way to chill out. However, there's always that temptation to just watch one more episode. And the more you watch, the later you stay up. That pushes your bedtime further and further back. And when that happens, it will take you longer to fall asleep, cause you to have less REM sleep, and get less sleep overall, and feel more tired the next day. Let's review how your electronic devices interfere with your sleep and your life. It will take you longer to fall asleep. It makes you more alert at a time you want to wind down. It will confuse and delay your circadian clock rhythm. It will suppress the production of melatonin while you need it most. It will decrease your REM sleep. Whether you're texting, searching the internet, playing a game, or watching videos, any activity on electronic devices are working to keep your body and brain awake, making it more difficult for you to fall asleep. The long-term effects of lack of sleep include daytime grogginess, inability to focus, mood swings, and chronic sleep deprivation, none of which are good for you, if you want to be successful. What can you do to ensure that you are giving your body and mind the best quality of sleep at night? Here are some recommendations. Sleep experts recommend that you keep technology out of your bedroom. But I know, for many of you, that's just not something you're willing to do. The next best thing to prevent having problems falling and staying asleep is unplug from your smartphone 30 to 60 minutes before you go to bed. Reading is a great activity to do before falling asleep, so you can read a book. Or, you can also wear blue light filtering glasses that restrict blue light from passing through the lenses. Or, get an app that can switch screens from blue light to a softer pink color. Some devices have a feature like that already built in. Listening to music helps a lot of people fall asleep. If that applies to you, use a device without a screen. Besides the blue light, the sound notifications of incoming messages can disrupt your sleep too. So it's important to turn your phones to silent rather than vibrate. If you're using your mobile device for an alarm clock, 
experts suggest you switch to a nightstand clock instead to eliminate the blue light. So if you're tired of feeling tired and want to know what it's like to wake up feeling well rested, alert, and focused, you need to make sleep a priority. Just like eating healthy foods and exercising, getting a great night's sleep will make you happier, healthier, and ready to take on the day.